Hi guys, I'm Matt. Today I'm going to read Hebrews 13, James 1 to 4, Proverbs 26, and Psalm 62. Let's get started. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels on the rest. Remember those who are in prison, as they are in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body. And let marriage be held in honour among all, and let the marriage bed be def- undefilled. For God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Let keep your life free from love and money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. For we, so we can confidently say, The Lord is my help, and I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of, of God. Consider the outcome of their way of, way of life, and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teaching. For it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by faith, which have not been fitted, those devoted <clears throat> to them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy places by the high priest as sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. So therefore, let us go to the gate and uh, just to him outside the camp and bear the approach to enjoy. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city that is to come. Through him, then let us continually offer up <coughs> a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of life, and that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do this and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over yourselves. It is those who will have to give an account. Ask them do this with caring and not with growing. For well, that would be a very advantage to Pray for us, for we are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honorably and also. I urge you to go earnestly to do this in order that I may be restored to you soon. Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal God, equip you with everything good that you may do as well. Working in us, which is pleasing in the sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I appeal to you, brothers, bear with my word of explanation, for I have written to you briefly. You should know that our brother Timothy has been pleased, with whom I shall see you if he comes soon. Greet all your ladies and this all the same. May you should come from every send you years. Grace be with all of you. James 1 to 4. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion. Can I all joy us when you meet this, when you meet this truth, when you meet trials of various kinds? For you know that the testing of the faith produces righteousness, and let righteousness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it be given him. Let him ask in faith, with no doubt. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation, and the rich in his humiliation. Because like a flower of the grass he will pass away. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and with it is the grass. His flower falls and its beauty perishes. So also the rich will the rich man fade away in the midst of its pursuits. And the blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. And when he has stood the test, he will receive a crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. And let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. Yet each person is tempted when he is Lord and enticed by his own desire. When desire heaven he has conceived gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully gone, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own he will he will us for us by the word of truth, that he we should be the kind of first fruits for all creatures. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of men does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save us all. But be doers of the word, and not 
Now here it's deceiving myself. So if anyone is a hero of the word and not a door, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. Well, he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he is like. And if the one who looks into the perfect world, the world of liberty, and perseveres, being no hero but who forgets but a door he acts, he'll be blessed in his doom. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bite his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled from God, the Father, is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, in their affliction, to keep oneself unsustained, unstained from the world. My brother, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lord. But if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your city, and a poor man in shabby clothing actually comes in, and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place, while you say to the woman, you stand over here, or sit down at my feet. Have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges of the influence? This is my beloved brothers. Has not God chosen those who are called in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? No, do you have to summon the poor man? And are not the rich one, the ones who impress you, and the one who turn you into poor? Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name of the one which you call? If you really go the law of God, according to the scripture, you shall not be neighbor as yourself. You are doing well, but if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are committing holy by the Lord's transgression. Mm-hmm. Well, whoever keeps the whole law but fails in the has become guilty of the law. What do you say? Do not commit adultery, as you say, do not murder. If you do not commit adultery but do murder, you become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so act as those who are to be judged under the law of liberty. The judgment is about Matthew to one who is shown no mercy. Matthew triumphs over judgment. What good is it, my God, if someone has his faith that does not have works? Can that be saved? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and left in the day with you, and one of you says to you, in peace, be warned of the Lord without giving the other things in the world. What good is that? So if your faith by itself, it does not have works, is dead. If it's someone with faith, do your faith by it. Show me your faith apart from the Lord. And I will show you my faith by my faith. He said, You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe. And shut up. Do you want to be shown, you foolish person, that faith apart from your works is useless? Now, was not Abraham my father justified by works that he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? You see, you know, that faith is active among you along with his work. And faith was completed by his works. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And he was called a faith and friend of God. You see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. And in the same way, the guy is not able to say, Rahab the prostitute, justified by works when she had received the messengers and sent them out and by another way. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from the works is dead. Not many of you should become teachers. Remember, for you know that we who teach will be judged for his servants, for we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he said, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they may obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships, I said. Then they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the wheels of the pilot directs. So I said the tongue is a small one, yet it boasts of great things. How great is a forest set ablaze by such a small fire, and the tongue is a fire, in a world of unrighteousness. And the tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. <laughs> For every kind of beast and bear, of, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by man. But no human being can tame it. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. We say we bless our Lord and Father, and we say we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. For the same mouth can blessing and curse them. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. To those of spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and solid water. Can a fig tree, my brothers, bear olives, or a grapevine produce goods? Neither can a salt pond yield fresh water. Who is wise and understanding among them? By his good conduct, let him show his works and be. If you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from God, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition is, there will be disorder in every
behavioral factors. And I said, well, stop feeling bad with the best people, then peaceable and gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good, impartial and sincere, and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. What causes quarrels and what causes fights among them? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, you, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have, because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive, because you ask wrongly. You spend it on your passions, you adulterous people. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you, do you suppose it is... It is to no purpose in the scripture that the scripture says he yearns jealously over the spirit that he is made to dwell in us but he gives more grace therefore it says god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble so make yourselves therefore to god resist the devil and he'll flee from you draw near to god and he'll draw near to you cleanse your hands you sinners and purify your hearts you double minded be wretched and man and weak let your laughter be turned into to mourning and your joy to glee. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he'll exalt you. Do not see evil against one another, brothers. <clears throat> brothers. The one who speaks against a brother of judges, who speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is only one lawgiver and judge. He is he who is able to save and to destroy. And who are you to judge the law? Can you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a time, and spend a year, a year there, and trade and make a profit. <clears throat> make a profit. <clears throat> so that, yet you do not know what tomorrow will be. What is your life? For you are a mess that appears for a little time, and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So whoever knows the right thing to do and falls fails to do it. For him it is sin. Proverbs twenty six. Like snow and summer or rain and harvest is so his honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a sparrow in a swing or a swallow in a sky. Because those causes does not lie. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the back of the beast. And it's not a fool according to his folly, lest you be liking yourself. And it's not a fool according to his folly, lest you be wise in his own eyes. Whoever well, sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Like the lame man's legs, who chain useful, is probably been the mouth of food. Like one who binds a stone in a sling, is one who gives a nice or fool. Like the one that goes up into the hand of a drunkard, it's probably been the mouth of fools. Like an archer who wounds everyone, is one who buys a passing fool or drunkard. Like a dog that returns to a family, is a fool uh, who repeats his fault. You see a man who is wise in his own eyes. There is more hope for a fool than for him. The slugger says, There is a lion in the road, there is a lion in the street. As the door turns on its hinges, so does the slugger on its bed. On its bed. The slugger buries his hand in the dish, and it wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The slugger is wiser than in his own eyes than some men who can answer some Whoever meddles in a quarrel but not his own is like one who takes a class of gold by his hands. Like a madman who throws fire friends, he throws the dead. He is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I am only drunk. For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no risk for it, quarreling seeds. There is charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so there is a quarrel to man for kindling strife. The words of a whisperer are like delicious morsel. They go down into the inner parts of the world. Like a is having an earthen vessel, our favorite lips with an evil heart. Whoever he disguises himself with lips, and he harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not. There are seven abominations in his heart. But his hatred will be covered with deception. His wickedness will be exposed in the sound. He never digs a will fall into it, and a stone will fall back, come back on him. He starts to roll. And lying down, he hates his friends, and flooding mouth works well. Psalms 62. To God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will all of you attack a man to bat him? My pleading for a tottery fence. Only they only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in power. They rest with their mass, but inwardly they cast. To God alone, I myself waits in silence. And I hope he is from him. 
You only eat my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. And then you got it. I go on rest. On God rest my salvation and my God. My writing, my refuge is God. That's in the air all times of you. Now you have God. God is a refuge for us. And those of lower state are but a breath. Those of high state are a defeat. In the balances they go. They are together like a Put my trust in exhaustion. Set in a vein here somebody. Your riches increase, set not your heart in. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard it. Then that power belongs to God, and that to you, the one who can only step is love. And uh, for you will render to him according to his word. Now that's done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please pray ahead, my Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as you wish to be on our debtors. Please not in its temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.